very obvious concern in my life is tuition costs, which are constantly growing and putting students in increased debt. The university itself is in an extremely poor financial situation because of various expansions that have occurred in campus in past years, and this in turn puts great financial strain on students. The issue of teacher cutbacks through all grade levels is also a huge concern that I have as more and more students are receiving fewer opportunities to receive the assistance they need and have less access to certain courses that are related to their dreams and goals. Because of this and many other reasons, Prince Rhode Island is not ranked high in academic excellence. I firmly believe that if Darlene Compton is elected into leadership, she will make a huge positive difference in the education system of our island. Not only shows the leadership this island needs to get back on track, she keeps all generations in mind and will work towards straightening out the massive debt the island has generated from previous leadership. Darlene is also in tune with our local farmers and fishers and sees their daily struggles. She also witnesses how hard it is for our aging residents here on Prince Edward Island. Darlene will be a leader and a premier for all of Prince Edward Island, both rural and urban. The Pro Progressive Conservative Party needs a leader and a future premier who can relate to all islanders. I am that leader. The declining opportunities for youth and our mounting debt are two of my biggest concerns. All islanders have a vested interest in ensuring that our government lives within its means and is accountable to all the people who elected them. Without economic growth, we cannot support our health care, education, and all our social programs in a way that will enhance the life of each islander and help them to succeed in their problems. Good paying jobs, a solid education system, and proper health care are all required to ensure more islanders remain on PEI. And as well as that, to provide the incentive for newcomers to make Prince Edward Island their home. A commitment to community and traditional values will help us succeed as we move forward. I am a settler Canadian, as most of the people in this room are. We need to remember our families were all newcomers at one time. We cannot continue to grow without welcoming and encouraging newcomers. Secession planning for traditional family far farms needs to be a priority. I will support innovative new farm practices and encourage young farmers that have made, commit made that commitment to the in industry. I will also commit to prioritizing the well-being of our veterans, past and future. The world will always need the brave men and women in Canada's military, and we must honor their service by ensuring that they get the care and the support that they need. As leader and premier, I will provide support for addictions, and especially youth addictions. The system in place needs to change. We will not leave people in a state of helplessness. When help is needed to make a difference in the life of an addict, it should not be left to chance. The cry for help has gone on far too long, and immediate action must be taken. Tourism is continually evolving. It needs, um, government needs to recognize this and encourage new and innovative ideas to compete with national and international markets. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an important task ahead of us, taking government from the hands of a tired and disconnected crew. There may be a new person at the helm, but it's still the same crew that left port seven years ago, and they are still adrift.